the deeper your roots the more directions you can branch out in with newer leaves of ideas all right okay and the symbolism is the tallest yeah. all right plant. okay all right okay all right okay go on uh sir uh, i would can i say uh, yeah do it king about sensitivity i would like to talk about a uh, sensitivity lag here uh now we are seeing okay. the sun here there are plants here but uh, there are no shadows the shadows are missing all right mm. so uh, so because we are if we are sensitive to it we would have, the shadows would also be not seen mm -hmm. so, uh, uh, what is the central point which you are making if you are uh, sensitive you will see the shadows what do, what do you mean what do, what are you talking what is the same point you are driving uh just for instance uh, cuz i saw this from no, 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 uh, an artist point of view artist point of view so when we draw as a source of light and when we draw plants or uh, any object in, in, from in front of the source of light we indicate Absolutely. the shadows as well all right beautiful But, uh, all right so what here. is your interpretation yeah which is missing here so what is your interpretation yes come on so there are more than what is obvious to anything oh that is okay beautiful oh, definitely beautiful good in now, beyond the obvious that, well. uh, yeah, that's okay uh, that you can make even other ways also without this slide but uh, uh, i wanted you to make an idea which is relevant to you Every one of you. You are the entity. What you said are all important and relevant for your understanding, your wisdom, your general perspective, no doubt. You are made that much sensitive to various other aspects also. Sensitization has happened a lot, I know. But other than that, something directly relevant for you as an, as an entity, as a person, as an individual, as a self. Swami, so, so I'm connecting two, three ideas here. Yeah. And uh, one is uh, when Vinayji said we are, we have to go through pressure and pain mm. and to overcome it. Yeah. So here the the is a seed. Yeah. And it is it is going through a process of growth. Mm. So there is a downward and there is an upward growth here. Mm. So that equality, everything. I mean. Uh, it you should grow both ways not you should other. grow both ways hmm. both way but uh, uh, both way meaning that's all finished no that hmm. that can be uh, the pains can be the fa uh, probably can be interpreted as failures hmm. and that hmm. can no 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 don't go to that interpretations okay uh, all right okay go pain as go to failures all right okay and uh, through that you can uh, learn more and there is a growth upward mm. Mm. and also i have one more point to uh, point out that is uh, with if you have to see everything in actually in detail if we have to see everything there should be equality because when there is not equality you don't actually see a lot of things you miss out a lot of things Uh, definitely yes but all right but that's a little distant linkage okay how do you relate that to to this uh, slide yeah, i i related that with this slide by listening to all of those points pointed out by everyone in this group because each of them okay, all right all right all right okay my each of them had a different uh, point to include with another person didn't see okay and at the end now we all see all those points together mm. so now there's more equality than we started in the beginning I in what you said now there's a significant idea for everyone what is that i think there is no 
upward or downward movement of the seed or plant or roots yeah that actually also, root uh, yes actually root uh, um, movement of downward is the upward movement of the roots it is the growth of the roots yeah and upward ever part, again like uh, uh, again so yeah. yes continue continue please and the ever part of the plant is the growth of his direction or dimension yes correct 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 and both Looking symbolizes at, uh, the growth itself uh, of course no growth, upward or downward uh, exactly yeah. to see that uh, that is the first uh, uh, what you call uh, normal perception which amaya applied to, yeah. there is no downward or upward in that sense yeah. or even upward uh, uh, downward concept is uh, not to be used like ashudi also made you have to be very careful yeah. about the reference realities of you very you so like yes. anuradha pointed out this problem of language you know unknowingly mm-hmm. you begin with uh, unknowingly or knowingly by the trigger of the stimulus you said downward yeah. unknowingly like uh, ashudi mentioned uh, what you call obstructing and so on so you have to be very careful about the words by which you conceptualize your mm-hmm. observations that there is the tragedy the same thing you are doing with you too and That's people are uh, mantra yes. point out uh, sometime back we mentioned you know you have to look at your own inner process uh, thought process also and the creatively creatively interpret it Otherwise, how will you reach your self-realization, self-discovery? I think you know, so nobody will bring it out in a plate like breakfast. <laughs> I told you, even Buddha points out, whoever points out, you have to work it out. Mm. If you want to get it. Otherwise, you can, if you want to sing the song, you have to try it. Otherwise, you will enjoy the orchestra of somebody else. Whether it is Buddha's orchestra or Jesus' orchestra or Krishna's orchestra. Which everybody in the world is doing, one way or the other, with one person or the other person, and they remain the same, or rather, they are deteriorating. Now is the real test of the so-called religion is going to happen. That's what I said. The world is going to a terrible state. People's belief in so-called, so-called their uh, ridiculous god is going to almost vanish within one or two, three years. do you understand the consequence terrible theory yes sir because of this so called virus and the uh, linkages uh, uh, which they are already creating and they continue to be creating in geometrical proportions yes governments are harping on the same topic of vaccine 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 and underestimating not underestimating they all know they are just trying to control the population psychology by campaigns of a very deceptive kind maybe of a required kind well, of course ultimately required kind definitely the captain has to constantly maintain his confidence so that's what the leaders are doing anyway never uh, identify all the so called uh, uh, dividing words low high downward upward all this blah what navin point wrote is a brilliant point it's the growth of the plant in its totality if the so called low, lower caste people are not there if the so called low class low class people are not there if the entire world is just disregarding the world will not be there as it is all these great buildings and great bridges and great roads and great things are constructed by ordinary low class people yes that's why the that's why the great genius tagore said the god is there where the path maker is making the path the so called people in the municipality early morning ladies i mean women men and women go around with their broom and clean all the roads all the so called poor people are tarring the roads even when there are machines so called mm-hmm. low class people only brick by brick concrete by concrete build the so called what you call uh, khalifa towers or uh, so called whatever which the so called upper class people are uh, uh, 
um, what you call claiming as their work. Yeah. A film is 100% the work of the director, but the producer is projected. I would say it is a strategy so that their ego will be satisfied. It is my child. What my child? He has borrowed money from the bank or just by the business interest he invested the money. That's all. Nothing else. Never mind. That's a different story. Now, similarly, Taj Mahal is credited with that. Empire State Building or palaces or buildings. What, what ridiculous nonsense is going on in the world? That's what I said. The truth is seldom seen. Coming back to the point, uh, quickly, what is an important lesson for you here in the total content of the slide? Sir, I have yeah. two uh, points to make. One is that, uh, so if like Navinji said, if we must uh, look at the tree in totality, then to achieve that equality, we must eliminate that baseline which acts as a benchmark that's a that's good, a good point, point yeah there should that's not be that division of the ground and the sky right, right? yes that baseline yeah, yeah of course, course. good point, good point. Uh, uh, that's a learning for you like everything else yes. all right that's a learning for you to transcend the break uh, that uh, dividing line of course okay good the second point is that is an is an observation. I I am still thinking on how to interpret it. Uh, the tip of the tree is maintained leafless throughout. That's a very critical point, Why are you so very uh, uh, surprised? Tip tree is always slender, delicate, and pointed. So your attention focus should be very slender. Don't be all your attention to all the things. Penetrate one step at a time. And be pointed in your attention. Don't get, uh, uh, what you call, biased by the uh, knowledge, uh, the, the knowings and the doings in the form of the leaves all you have, uh, already you have achieved. Continue to grow with the point of your attention. The sharp, uh, sharp arrows of your attention, your perception, your thinking, your doing, your being, everywhere. <coughs> and I will add on to that, it is growing into emptiness. It is searching untrodden path. It is pointing out to, it is searching. Like the root also is searching. Yeah. Good point. But at that good point, why you started with this again, that uh, doubt? All right. Be doubtless, Sri. All right. Come on. Oh, wonderful point. Uh, for you also. For you also. It is an interpretation of the symbol. And it is important for every one of you. Be pointed, be sharp, and uh, 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 don't get uh, what you call. Of course, be on top of all of your knowings and all that. But still grow with your pointed uh, focus, uh, singular focus of attention. <coughs> all right, come on. Next. Okay, the clue. What is another significant word which you have not considered yet in this slide? It's from the nursery of Krishna. Uh, exactly. Uh, no, no, Krishna, as we leave it, the concept of nursery, yes. How do you linkage it with that? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Place where separate group of people are fostered for unique abilities or capabilities. Yeah, beautiful. So, is standing here and telling that when she looked into the meaning or the, when she wanted to develop the concept sense of it, 
-hmm. Nursery also means a separate place where unique entities are chosen and selected and nurtured and trained. Oh, beautiful things, sir. Exactly. Till now, you did not notice it, but at least now you have noticed it. The nursery. Now from that, what are your learning? What does it imply for you? Uh, can I can I make a point? Yeah. So I have I have mentioned this to you that I have stopped worshiping worshiping uh, conventional deities which I used to worship in the past, and uh, now I only worship the nature forces. Okay. So every day morning when I go to work. Near my office, in front of my office, there's an open park. It's an open grassland. So I go and stand in the middle of it and pray to the sun. And when I pray to the sun, this is exactly what I uh, I pray, uh, which is depicted in this picture. I pray to the sun that I should be like the sun in this place who can help others grow. Okay. I feel the same thing is depicted in this slide. Beautiful. All right. That's my morning prayer every day. Good. And people have asked me what I do in the middle of the park. <clears throat> did you answer to any one of them? Yes, I told them. I, yeah. Did you tell did. them what you told now? Yes, I oh. told them that I'm praying to the sun. Right. And that I only worship the nature forces. Right. And okay. they are the real gods. That also. And all right. All right. Okay. I did. Okay. Good. I never then, lose such a chance to say. Yeah, never you lose. It. It's very important. <laughs> never, never I never lose, lose a chance. chance. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Where, because wherever possible, you show your difference. That's very that important. Is, yeah. Make it a genius choice point. Yeah. Come on. Good. Anything else from nursery? Only a mentor can nurture nursery. That is an observation now. In what I'm yeah. coming and uh, go and try whether you can have any any more insights for you. I mean, every one of you was uh, GCF here. Then equal potential be. Pardon me. Yeah, Tintin. There is equal potentiality in the nursery. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you relate it with this, uh, any of the symbols here? The seed can stay a seed or the seed can grow and grow to any level which is possible depending on the potentialities of the seed and the environment and what is bestowed upon it. Now, that's a good idea, but how is it linked with the contents in the slide? That's the question. And how it is linked with every one of you the, as, a, as a program participant? Yes. The potentiality of each seed is shown here, sir, through the stages. Uh, so what? And therefore? And therefore that is what we should, like the sword of attention is focused on the tip and we should use it to grow to that maximum potential. Okay, all right, all right, okay. That's a general idea, good idea, wonderful idea. Definitely, it, is, it should be I mean, it should be tried. And in which way it is symbolized here, that's a, that also you have to say. That's also a task of creative sensitivity. That's a good idea that you can say even otherwise. In which way now you, can you linkage it with any of the signals in the, the slide? The growth, sir, the visible part is the tip reaching out to the sun or the sky, but yeah. that is also possible because of the invisible growth of the roots through the earth. No, that is how, okay, agreed. In which way it is linked to you? Getting nurtured through this program, the nursery of this genius choice program. 
No, no, not that. That, of course, it's a <laughs> unique most nursery in the world. No doubt. I am very sure about it. But uh, what is in the symbol here? For every one of you, regardless of the nursery part, okay. Regardless of the nursery part. Sir, here the nursery is nature process. Don't say doubtless. Here yeah. and all, why are you talking like this? You have to talk much more firmly because you are connecting it with the signals here. Yes. So you mean the seed and the plants, right? Seed, plants and unlike a conventional... Yeah, yeah then talk like that. Yeah. Unlike a conventional nursery where we are choosing plants and growing them in one particular boundary, here there is no person growing, there is no uh, fixed, uh, there is no fixed environment, demarcated environment. It's nature process itself is the nursery. Oh, going away, going away, going away. No, no, no. But demarcation, everything comes from different realities. You grow where you are planted or where the seed lay. Yeah, that could be one. Wherever you are, you grow. All right. That is one. That is one of the good points. Yeah. All right. Next. You, where, you grow wherever you are, whatever you are. Okay. <laughs> that is one insight for every one of you. All right. Okay. Yeah. Then. How do you how do you connect it with the picture? That also you do. How do you see that? How do you see what you said? in any of the symbolism here. The, the seed represents the whole universe. No, 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 no. That's all in that interpretation you can go on making now in that you, we have stopped yeah. that chapter, that part of the test so is over. Now, perhaps the last question. How is it connected with you? How it can be connected with every one of you? The clue is in the nursery. That also I am telling. It is almost a very obvious clue, but... We, we, are, we are all in the nursery right now. Not that. That already somebody mentioned. That's not... Uh, no, no. Sir, the that of course, that of course, it's good. Thank you for making the statement. Very good. Yeah, but uh, not uh, that is not about you, about your requirement. That is the primary design. Yeah, but an uh, insight for you, or uh, another important linkage for you. In the context of the concept sense of nursery and the referent uh, of the nursery and referent reality of the nursery. So I'm connecting nursery with our own mind. Mm. And, and, we, and uh, we are inside that nursery. And uh, how do you create the uh, environment or the design setting of that nursery determines the uh, growth of the seed that is ourselves. Okay, good. But you talked about the mind, very good idea, very good perception, very, very good interpretation, all right? From the concept of nursery, right? All right, okay. Uh, then? The nursery, the main part of the nursery is only a very small part, the ground here. The remainder of it is the sky. The larger part is the sky where the plant is moving on its own. 
All right. Therefore, what is the learning for you? To move on our own outside of the nursery. Ah, so much closer to that. Exactly. What is the nursery? From where you purchase a sweetling, and the remaining is with you. Like a minute, she said, if you whatever is going on in this program, if it is a nursery, you will be finally going out as a sapling, and remaining thing you have to do it. Nursery is not a place where the trees are grown and grown and grown and grown. No. Mm -hmm. So, you have to take care of you. Like uh, Vinay said, whether the mind or body or spirit or intellect, intelligence, whatsoever of your knowing or doing or being. Okay. I am just giving you some seeds or saplings. That's all. You have to grow it. There are many more things. Have you noticed all the four plants are of identical nature? Have you seen that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whether the youngest one, Mandra, to the uh, eldest one in the group, uh, in the original group, Anurud. <laughs> they are all treated as the same. They are all <laughs> identical. Only thing is that Mandra is young and Anurud Sharma. Anurud Sharma is not a regular participant. Okay, let us say. Let us say me. So, all of you are treated equally. Of course, by me. And it implies that all of you are of equal potential. And that potential is the original potential of the nature process of your seed. And grow out and branch out and evolve uh, continuously using the larger, like uh, I said, the point. There's a great lot of huge world of signals and the possibilities outside as well as inside. Like a Mbine said, inside you, you too. As I told in the before in the beginning also, it is almost 99% your responsibility, 1% of inspiration in the form of seedlings I am giving you. That's all. 99% is your perspiration. <laughs> and go into a tree. That's all. We have come to the end of uh, this thing. And uh, now, uh, if you want which other content, if you have gone through the slides, uh, uh, this is the possibility. You see, you thought last time it ended. Yes. It grow anymore. Now, mm -hmm. if you have gone through all these uh, slides, which one slide would you like to, in the remaining 10 more minutes, if you stop it at three and a half hours, no, no, sorry, three hours only. Oh, three, oh, okay, all right, okay, three and a half hours, that means 11 o'clock. Now, come on, which other slide do you want to go next? If you have read through, which other slide do you want to go? Every one of you. Which other slide do you, which one more slide if you choose now, which one is that? Come on, Tintin. I tried randomly, sir, and it's come to slide number seven. You tried randomly. What do you mean by that? I did not go through all the slides, sir. So I chose randomness here. Then how come you are at seven? Slide number seven. Because it is the last one. No, there are more slides, sir. Then how can you come at randomly to number <laughs> seven? How did you how did you say that it was random? 
But why did you say that it was random? I, I chose one slide knowing it will be one which I which would which I would <clears throat> be looking at, sir. I gave it that randomness like I ching. ching. I move the slides down and then Ah, that is an answer. You just move the slides down and uh, just stop that one. That is yes, an sir. answer to random. All right, okay. So that is seven. All right, okay, seven. <coughs> Keep it in your mind. I just want to know if anybody is anybody has gone through that, or if you are going through <laughs> that uh, right now, in one minute of time you choose the next one. Every one of you. Yeah, master, I I wanted seven, and this is by choice. I read through the slides. I thought that is the one which interested me. Well, oh, that's very interesting. Uh, Tintin chose it right, mm -hmm. randomly and you chose it after reading. That's very interesting. Yes. All right. Okay, then. So, slide number three. Uh, I actually meant slide number four. All right. Okay. Four yeah. and seven. No. Third okay. or third. Not including the first slide. Yeah. So, that means slide, slide fourth, right? <coughs> In the numbering of slides. Fourth slide. Okay. So now four and seven. Anybody else? One more option now. <coughs> four, sir. Yeah. Six, sir. So four, six, seven. Anyway, any, okay. So I'm giving one more chance to anybody if they were all taking time to look through that. One more chance only. Yeah, it is five. So four, five, six, seven. Hmm? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, okay. <clears throat> so let us quickly go through four, five, six, seven. Come on, take fourth one, uh, uh, Tintin. <coughs> fourth yes, slide, sir. yeah. Yeah, fourth what slide. is that? Uh, he put it who draws away the senses from the objects of sense on every side as a tortoise draws in his limbs into the shell, his intelligence is firmly set in wisdom. All right. Anybody would like to interpret this? What, it was identified by uh, Anu. <coughs> Anu, why don't yes, you sir. try interpreting that? Why don't you see the invisibles in that? Actually, I was not able to sense anything in this. Yeah, but there are some English words anyway. You know the meanings <laughs> of them. So why don't you sense uh, there is a, at least that sense of the language there. How do you la interpret that? Okay, in which way it doesn't make sense? Why it doesn't make any sense? Come on, identify that. What in that content is uh, 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 making you think that there is nothing sensible in that? No, I'm not saying it is not sensible. Uh, uh, I'm not able to uh, understand how we can draw a sense away from an object on every side. When you don't understand meaning what? You mean that it may not be possible? Or how it can be done? Is that what you mean by I don't yeah, understand? How, 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 how it can be done. How it can be done. How it can be done. Why that question is hap uh, happening? What is the basis of that question? What is the logic of that question? The logic of that question is what? There is a logic behind that. Or there's a logic by which you don't understand it or you do not accept it. Or you think it is not possible. What is that logic? Or rather, why you say so? That means there is some other reasoning or some logic or some experience or some observation you have to make. <clears throat> then only you can say uh, how it is possible, how it is possible. When you ask how it is possible, you are doubting it. On what the what is the basis of the logic by which you are doubting that it is possible? 
Okay, what is this? What is the given example of a sense and its object? Uh, I'm seeing uh, the screen in front of me. That is the, the visible. What is the sense in word? I. Sense vision. in word. Vision, vision. Ah, visual sense. And the object of the vision right now, for example, is the screen in front of you. Yes. Right. So yes. you you do not uh, accept, you do not uh, uh, accept the logic that you can withdraw your vision from that screen, right? That is why you say, how is it possible? No, I can accept the uh, logic that I can withdraw the uh, sense of vision from the screen, and I can withdraw that. Yeah, that's what is mentioned there. Similarly, we can withdraw but, uh, your audit auditory sense from the sound. <clears throat> mm. Yeah. He who draws but away, that uh, means who he who is capable of drawing it away. For some people, it automatically happens. Like uh, we see in films, a boy is thinking about the girl and he doesn't realize what is going on in front. Okay? Mm. His eyes are wide open. Mm. The other day, Mina, she was narrating an experience of her where she looked at something. She was going on looking at it only, but after some time, that looked at thing which is solidly present there completely disappeared from the vision. Mm. Yeah. And you also said it is possible. Or it happens at least. Now, he who draws, that means he who does the cycle, he who bowls, he who bats, he who drives, that means he who has the capacity to drive or he who has the capacity to withdraw. Like a tortoise does it. When it is, when he, when he is able to do that, at that time, his knowing, his intelligence, that intelligence process becomes firmly set. Okay. Yeah. And in, yeah. in some wisdom. At that time, he develops certain wisdom, wiseness. Some, some new perception occurs to that person when he is able to do that consciously. Hmm. I'm just making a hypothetical uh, scenario, Anuradha. Let us say, okay. even I have come across people like that. A boy, an adolescent boy is sitting in daylight uh, in front of his house, in his chair. Uh, and I entered and he did not see me. Because uh, he was, in fact, he was eagerly waiting to see me. It is not something happened now, some 10 years back, let us say so. He was eagerly waiting to see me to talk about his newly discovered girlfriend. I mean, love, not a girlfriend, his love. And he was so engrossed in uh, thinking about that and maybe visualizing about that. And therefore, he did not see me. This is often picture, often a situation, especially in, in, in the context of love, because it's a very intense experience. That's, that's why. Similarly, highly thinking people, they would not recognize whatever is going on in the neighboring room or in front of them. So, I am visualizing a situation. Uh, when I, I did not do that, but if it happens... Uh, if you can stop the, that person like a, a solid statue, what was happening to you right now? Your eyes were wide open. I just walked through the gate and I entered the uh, front room. Sorry, open veranda. You did not see me, which was very obvious from his expression also. At that point, if you could pause him, like what you call film pause, then if you could ask him what was happening inside you, it would have been something wonderful but i am just telling a hypothetical situation it may not happen and he may not be able to say anything so when such an experience actually happens there's the great possibility of uh, another perception when your old knowings will be kind of uh, firm somewhat like me do you think i have prepared all these things and therefore i'm talking to you no not at all i never had done that even in my union, Christian college days. 
but uh, i know everything about everything that i talk that i realize when i face questions only to me there is nothing in this whole universe which i cannot explain and interpret reasonably logically mm-hmm. nothing except i say often say chemistry <laughs> mathematics and uh, algebra some subject matter about existence about the birds and the about the universe my intelligence so called what is intelligence the, the so called knowing though I, i have not learned anything about it i just like that i know because i have withdrawn my senses from the objects i have sat through hours together just looking at the empty sky even when i was a little uh, i was a little boy for i am not talking about that sense sense also include uh, to tell you the finally the instinctual sense like sense for food there's a sensing that's why the little baby cries the absence of food in the abdomen that is sensed by proprioception sense then the ultimate sense uh, towards that uh, organic process by which somebody says uh, somebody feels that so called sexuality it is sensed it is not that uh, somebody has sexuality all the time no some organic process is happening there then uh, then only that sexual instinct is sensed of course by watching nude films and also it can be artificially triggered i am not talking about that that's why so called brahmacharya that's why so called transcendence of sexual instinct withdrawing that sensitivity to the sexual uh, process of the body is the ultimate in fact that is the ultimate you don't have to withdraw your sense from the visual signal from the auditory signal when the, from the touch signal from the taste signal from the smell signal not that sense here actually mm-hmm. so again i mean because most of you are young i mean it is not about uh, abstaining from sexual activity it is about ca- having clear perception clear awareness about your sexual activity making it a romantic episode rather than a blind sexual expression you see every expression of the human being every response every activity of the human being has been made elaborate and decorated and poetic and uh, 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 luxurious i mean wonderful next one i mean eating the food eating that is next to sex okay by power of force so what an elaborate preparation for eating what an elaborate preparation for dressing what an elaborate preparation for shelter and uh, there is virtually nothing for the expression of the sexual instinct that is again a paradox that is a fitting paradox for the arrogance of the human being for ever that is created maybe exclusively by the by the ludicrous uh, Uh, or insane in the man with the sexuality so sex is a secret and sex is left to the vagaries absolutely idiotic vagaries of the man especially no decoration no poetry no dance no romance nothing okay so i just just made it as a significant example for you which you may have to talk to other people if you get a chance all right coming back yes so senses uh, it is not that anatha you go on doing it all the time like a tortoise tortoise is doing it not all the time okay it it withdraws itself only during sleep and only when uh, open so only when some what you call a seemingly uh, threatening things happen but it is given here as a metaphor obviously okay and it is into the shell of its own see yeah yes sir 
everything is in your laboratory two and so in that there is only that part that was a problem for you and rather so otherwise it is something very simple so it is okay but uh, at, uh, at another simple mm-hmm. peripheral level there is something also and rather it is very important you look at the world and rather everybody is uh, uh, trained by the campaign and the modern media to be victims of their sensitivity i mean say normal sense glamour and beauty and unnecessary things about the female glamour beauty glamour and beauty richness you know uh, opulence luxury extravagance these are the kind of senses it means also you know mm. that so called essential mm. pleasure of uh, wearing costly dresses buying costly dresses uh, buying a lot of gold diamonds a lot of makeup and lot of uh, extravagance it is about basically it talks about simple living only and rather actually speaking okay be simple okay. like a yogi how okay. your house i am not telling that you go and live in a hut but but having that simplicity mm-hmm. not being a victim oh that car looks beautiful oh let me buy that that car is costly so it it gives me an egoistic pleasure buying that or that sari is this much and i mean so on that kind of sense oh that food okay what to call um, that uh, what is that uh, um, what is that kentucky chicks and coca cola and um, what to call i know i don't know the names of that such things very costly items so this kind of central things that is what we meant it's a quest of choice by when you are on no 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 when you need to do it Uh, yeah that that's the point I'm, i am not telling that uh, like brahma ji i am not telling that you avoid that you are have it but you do not know there are people obsessed with that mm-hmm. so it is a choice it is a like and all they say it is a duplicated mind then uh, it is a choice for the rapist also it is a choice of the anti social person also he can also say that because he has chosen to do that so my i my choice i like it and all uh, which is the tie who is liking it which is that i of a woman who is spending uh, 1.5 lakh for a uh, saree and all that um, so it is my choice yeah, absolutely no it is a duplicated choice it is purchased only to show no doubt about that evidence by her wearing it in occasions the bmw and uh, what you call ferraris and uh, all these are purely by that only they say it is my choice because of the speed and all that yeah they are very they are very uh, to the to their best of their knowledge it is seems to be their choice definitely that's why they spend such a lot of money and buy it you know? definitely but uh, oh, let them do it but what i'm talking about it is as an example of uh, uh, that sensual pleasure that is what is called a sensual pleasure having rich rich costly elaborate food rich costly palace like building for two people to live rich costly decorations in the so the car like that rich costly dresses diamonds etc etc that is the uh, I think we take as an example, but uh, this is not about that. This is basically about uh, do not be a victim of your sensual pleasure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is four. Now next is six. Take uh, six. Ten. Ten. Yeah, six. Yeah, uh, come on. This is the choice of Navin, right? Me, sir. Oh, Navin. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, you are not here. All right. Come on, interpret it. Come on. First, you do it. First, you try. 
that is what the training also in the future you take anything and you start interpreting do you think i have not the, i have not uh, this is just like that glance of the book and took this and i am simply sure these are the most critical things i have not read any interpretation i never do that you know i am interested i just do it on the spot mm-hmm. now you also have to do it yes chinmayananda rangnathananda and do it after so many decades of classes on vida doing it on sample interpretation uh, talking about it to thousands and thousands of audiences hundreds of times again and again let me tell you i have never read gita completely at all that's what i told you you must not forget that you are nothing but a central nervous system i don't know you don't i think you do not really feel it every moment of your unusual activity networks and networks and networks are triggered and formed it will not have a direct consequence of you you are remembering like a plus b the whole square is equal to 2ab plus blah 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 you have to get out of that ridiculous obsession with the knowing take away bloody take away from the program no mm-hmm. your experience of sitting here that is contributing to so many neuronal networks and that cannot be resultant in what you call talkable ideas mm. yes by the way why did they say this so welcome <laughs> new new experiences that's all and when it come when the time comes you jump in like that penetrating tip of the tree which is penetrating where look at the Mm-hmm. okay in the in the root okay there is in the ground there is some definition because uh, uh, the root uh, just cannot go just like that it, its movements uh, are controlled by the rigidity of the structure of the particles but the tip of the tree is always projecting towards uh, uh, kind of a vast emptiness in a way all right yeah come on come on try what is that english word which you do not understand it you have had a creative sorry concept sense referent perception referent reality perception apply this apply it in this come on do it even now i am talking a lot you should have been doing it come on so in this in this slide uh, the ideas are clear because a man should always support himself uh he he should always have a positive attitude and uh, a good uh, impression about uh, himself but i i i used to degrade sometimes when i was not in a high confidence level yeah by identifying itself uh i could somehow manage it and uh, once you said about that uh, throwing of throwing of that confusion into the lower abdomen part uh, from the heart part i tried and applied it and somehow i overcame it some uh, in some situations sometimes i think that uh, uh, I'm attending today's session. It's like uh, somehow, sometimes I need to just let go uh, rather than resisting. Maybe if I degrade myself, I just let it go at that time. Yeah, And that's I- a beautiful strategy. Unknowing by learning and training, you may still continue to do that. Do that also, and be cool about it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, that's it. Sir. When I resist it. it just aggravate yeah. so yeah. it's better to let it go yeah yeah okay sir yeah degrade has a unique meaning there it is not just a feeling that alone that is not that important you know but uh, people degrade themselves 
what are the various uh, uh, types of degrading oneself come on what is degrade what is a grade grade is a a rank or a position yeah grade is always a positioning an orbit of positioning yeah degrade of, meaning yeah, yeah, thinking orbit. lesser of yourself not even thinking lesser no 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 Judging Thinking lesser, you may happen by a certain situation. Incidentally, that you will uh, bypass. Being lesser. Judging. Yeah. Um, Behaving your in your responses, in your behaviors, in your um, actions, you are yeah. degrading you. Yeah. So in this case, not by we'll... not doing completely, by not doing sincerely, by not doing like a cat of the you, mm -hmm. that is the degrading implied here. Uh, not also... once in a while thinking like that. Then what Arjuna was doing? Arjuna, you read Bhagavad Gita beginning part. Arjuna is crying openly. It is written. He himself, says, I cannot control my tears. My 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 limbs are shivering. I cannot lift the bow. Krishna is talking. Physical degrading. The guy who is the champion of uh, archery is telling my hands cannot lift the bow. that's at that point of time but uh, degrading oneself meaning you know actually if you are in class 10 you behave like somebody in class 5 you are performing like somebody in class 5 you are talking like somebody in class 5 all this uh, 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 oh, in fact uh, they do not realize that in fact most of the politicians in india most of the government officials in india most of the so called corrupt officials in india by doing that corrupt act they are degrading themselves forget about public disgrace that's why people say somebody is doing something which is not suitable to his rank and position people say the chief secretary of kerala state He was moving around with a, 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 a stupid lady, just degrading his position. Some head of the organization or a division head or somebody trying to molest a female. He is degrading himself. He has, or he is a person who has degraded himself, no doubt. a man who is genuinely responsible to his um, his identity he will never try to intimidate a female so he is a degraded person no doubt about that that's why he can tolerate because the guy who accepts the bribe every time he knows that he is doing something wrong clearly wrong not uh, uh, the wrong uh, by indian penal code because the guy who is asked for what you call a uh, huge amount of uh, what you call bribe amount he tells him sir i, I don't have that much of money sir you are asking for 50000 some course sir i can make 25000 sir because he want to get the license he says sir even this money i have what you call pledged the uh, god of my wife and things like that he is almost crying no way doors do you come back with 50000 rupees this is what they do normally everybody because nobody would do agree feel like agreeing to the first amount of bribe asked nobody would agree so he is a degraded person he has so called no shame that is the degrade we are talking about so don't worry about the feeling in this confidence and all that that is nothing to do with this we no 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 then arjuna has degraded himself no no he has not degraded he is a competent warrior no doubt about that he was feeling for that moment uh, sympathy for the gurus and the brothers and uh, other people sitting there a lot of innocent people will get killed if he takes the arrow he has to shoot his own gurus so he felt uh, uh, absolutely uh, shivering water so degrade is in this context to behave to act to do to relate with people and to talk vulgar language to intimidate somebody to cheat somebody not to do things properly 
That is the degrading of oneself. Get the point? Yeah. Never degrade. Never do anything. You know what is. Everybody knows. I have given umpteen number of talks on ethics. In the very beginning, I wondered who needs lessons on ethics. The inner consciousness mm -hmm. of everybody knows inherently what is right, what is wrong. Somebody may not know certain clause in IPC, this thing, IPC 320, etc. But everyone knows. You don't need any training. Because whatever is named as that ethical sensitivity is inherent in every organism. Because that's a given program. Otherwise, organisms will go around killing everybody, everything else. So, like that ethical sense is given to the ants and the birds and the lions and the snakes and all those so-called ferocious animals. Similarly, that sense is given to every human being also. Yes. So, uh, children moving around with uh, so-called uh, ill-behaving or uh, uh, uncultured or so-called underdeveloped people or so-called bad people, so-called degraded people, they go around and do things with them and thereby they, they degrade themselves and look at themselves as a, a, a degraded person. So that's a separate clause. That's a separate idea which Kay has mentioned. But the critical concept, what is the critical concept here in this? That the self alone can lift. Yeah, person. you have to lift yourself. You have to do it yourself. No other way. No way. But people are not ready for that. People are happy if you give some fishes. <laughs> yes. Because you now look at the newspaper, you look at people around in your office or elsewhere. A great lot of people are doing things which are actually not correlated, not suitable to their maturity, their age, their position, etc. Starting with the ministers and the political leaders and the organization leaders and the school teachers and all those people. I remember. Uh, first time the teachers in Kerala state uh, did a strike. Oh, so much of wonder. Everybody was surprised. Can teachers go for strike in the road calling Inglab Sindhabad and uh, things like that? First time in Kerala state. It happened, I remember, when I was doing some, uh, maybe even uh, sometime in 1980 or something like that. And a lot of people wanted great uh, so-called uh, uh, cultural leaders like uh, uh, great writers and poets. They all wrote publicly. I remember M.T. Vasudevan Nair, the Jnanabeda Award winner of Kerala State. He wrote a full article. Whatever be their condition. They asked for salary improvement, whatever, whatever. They are all right. But teachers should not have done this. That's what they said. But of course it was opposed by many. It was opposed by the uh, political content among the polit uh, teachers and many teachers uh, were not ready to participate in that and they were all kind of ostracized and there are a lot of things. What I mean to say that it is not suitable. They may be starving. They may get to the minimum salary but uh, because, because they are teachers who have to go to the classroom and talk wonderful things to the children. They have degraded themselves by doing this right. Similarly, doctors, they have degraded themselves. Teachers in the schools and the colleges and the universities, all degraded people. I have, I have not seen a, 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 an ethically responsible, uh, a real gentleman, a so-called gentleman. I, know, I don't know much about females. Uh, sir, I have a doubt here. Yes. Sir, uh, when our teachers go to strike and we label it as, label it as uh, degrading them, 
Yeah, degrading their role the position. Isn't the concept of conformity and centricity also coming in here? Who to look at them uh, as degrading themselves? I mean, or they're act, they uh, act, they act, act of doing the strike. Which one is centricity and conformity? Their act of doing the strike. If the cause for which they are striking is uh, something, uh, it's worthwhile or it's uh, they're uh, it's uh, needed. Uh, they have to do it. Then they have to should they should do it, right? That is what everybody thought. Okay, but in the contest, what happened actually? See, look at the actual reality. Students have no respect for teachers. They have degraded. Uh, causality is fact. In which case, uh, there are so many other people. What about the post office employees? Nobody in India even now gets such a low salary, and they are doing a systematic work. So-called municipality workers. If they go for strike, so what you said they have a point, and that's why they did the strike. And what every what everybody felt, even teachers themselves felt their image is gone. They themselves felt it. No doubt about that. That their that confident self just cannot go to the classroom next day and address the students. They have lost that confidence. No doubt about that, and that is revealed in their abilities. That is revealed in their many other acts. So, so they just true, come and I... they just come and do the mechanical work of teaching and go. That's all. Yeah. Because Arjuna is also facing a similar situation. He has to uh, fight against his own guru. So is he not degrading himself as in a, a warrior? No, no, no. Which okay? Let uh, once again. Which uh, which act of Arjuna is degrading himself? Come on, once again. He is now uh, uh, in the war field. Take, he has to kill arm, his own guru. Take, uh, taking arms against the guru. Guru. That is degrading himself. Because he, uh, as a uh, king and a respected uh, uh, ruler, uh, is he not uh, degrading himself by doing this? He is not degrading himself. By that only he became accepted as a ruler by taking arrows against them and annihilating them. Mm. His role position there Sorry. is leader of the Kuru army. I mean the uh, mm. what you call? I don't know what their name is. He is the leader there. Uh, Pandavas, huh? Yeah. No, no. What was their group? Pandavas, yeah. Uh, that uh, other than that, what was the kingdom they wanted to establish? Uh, Hastinapura? No. Uh, no, no. There was some yeah. name. Uh, there was some. Anyway, forget about names. Anyway, he has no degraded. He acted according to his. He, uh, that is why. All right. Okay. If you uh, for the time being, that is why Krishna told him, "Don't degrade yourself by crying." Like a poor man, weak man. In fact, he you read the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is telling him, don't act like a weak man. That is degrading there because he's a warrior. Like he said, mm. they are teachers. If they behave like other government okay. officers, uh, other other people who strike on the road and uh, calling English in the bus and uh, uh, talking great mudra vadgum police yanga kapula and all these things so which uh, the other notorious group do which they also do so that is degrading their role position as a teacher here Arjuna is, should not degrade him as a warrior by which he has been given leadership of the war. So it's a mode of protest that is uh, wrong here in this case. And that of is teachers. a different issue which you are not uh, not our talking. Yeah, that is that uh, that also. In fact, many of the critics have mentioned that you know they should have abstained. Like somebody said, uh, uh, Jap Japanese people they protest by overworking, or they could have taken some mass leave or something like that. Of course, the mode of protest. Because by that time, cultures are changing the masses, but whatever political influence happened, teachers were allowed to have what you call uh, political associations. 
Even now, teachers have political association and they say students should not have. That was the students are fighting against it, in fact. But that is a, a, a kind of um, a sensitivity only. Like, a, uh, and then uh, you say, and then, uh, and then a Gedi Gatta and Puli Pulindin. But Puli will not do that because the lion is a lion, is a lion. The king is a king, is a king. King will not do something which is against the modesty uh, and the royal position of a king. That's why kings have punished their own children if they have done a mistake. In fact, uh, the king who ordered for the what you call of Jesus or uh, killing of Socrates, the king personally told Socrates, sent a messenger to Socrates that I 100% uh, what you call consider you as a, a divine individual. I respect whatever you said, but as the ruler of the country, I have to respect for the majority whatever mass perception. So they want you to be killed. Therefore, I am ordering a poison punishment. That was the killing at that time. And the very king arranged for his escape. Yes. Which, which Socrates did not accept. That is his self-regard, you know. When he was in the jail, the king's messenger came with all the arrangements of his escape. He said, no, I am not afraid of death. I don't want to degrade myself. In fact, uh, even the soldier who came with the hemlock poison, that hemlock, H-E-M-L-O-C-K, he said, uh, and he was shivering, he was uh, uh, like Arjuna was in problem, he was in great problem, how can I give this poison to such a such a great human being? He said, he appeased him, don't worry, you, uh, give it to me. And he extended his hands and received the poison. Because he was not ready to degrade himself as a coward to utilize that opportunity to escape. In that strike also, many teachers did not participate in it. I think even now, many teachers may not be participating. After some 20 years, when strike and everything is so common, even though they are a degraded community, now nobody has any respect for teachers. In the past, how a teacher was held, I know that. Now nobody bothers. Now, Similarly, doctoral students, I have a PhD, nobody bothers, what PhD, because there are plenty of news about PhDs being granted by other methods, anybody can get a PhD and all that. You are a university professor, so what? Nobody is bothered, because the, the all these professions have been degraded. Yes, Politicians, continuously degraded. Ministers, continuously degraded. Organization leaders, continuously degraded. Especially in India. Mm -hmm. Because they do degradable things. Some politicians do that. Now they use the word politicians. Some of them may say, not everybody, but some. But that was affected. Mm -hmm. In fact, I used to say, uh, sometime back when that women's liberation, feminism, feminist literature all came, and they were all asking for equality with men. That itself, mm. they are degrading them. They should have argued for so, uh, their own identity. As females. Separate identity. As powerful as females. Uh, instead of that, when they are asking for equality with men, they are accepting that they, are, they themselves are lower than men. <laughs> so they have degraded themselves as a result what is the situation in US you think no female is genuinely respected in the US mm -hmm. and they are all so called liberated and uh, uh, what you call feminists so uh, these are all plenty of examples are there but so anyway degrade meaning Degrade, like from uh, de-promote, from class 7, there was a time when we were all in that school time, 
somebody is not good in seven, he will be asked to sit in class six. Now it is gone. Hmm. Now in organizations and government office, it is there. I don't know whether it is there in government now, Navin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, uh, a division head will be de-promoted to uh, some Hitler or somebody like that. Yeah. That, uh, that is there? Yeah. Yes, sir. As a disciplinary measure. Oh, all right, yeah. So, never do a thing that is not suitable to uh, uh, your dignity, let us say so. And your competency. If you are competent, do it in a competent way. All right. Four, six, and uh, seven, right? Uh, take the seventh one. <coughs> Why don't you upgrade straight away to the level of genius? <coughs> All right. Okay. Seven. Uh, seventh slide, right? Yes, sir. Uh, this is something very similar to something back also. What is that? Uh, there is something very plain only, but it gives a central uh, doing, a suggestion of a doing for you. What to do? Yeah, I saw the yeah. clue, that is why I thought I picked yeah, yeah. In order to identify something for your self-discovery, discovering that operating principle in you. Mm -hmm. right. So, when you sit there, when you sit, when you reserve your time for that, okay, unbreakingly focus attention on that ongoing consciousness of you. This even otherwise I have mentioned before. <coughs> Okay. Yes. And uh, remaining in solitude, why you need solitude, this also was explained. Mm -hmm. And there is a double concept here. <clears throat> what is the difference be, uh, between remaining in solitude and alone? Remaining in solitude uh, is a choice. What is the difference between remaining in solitude and alone? Why? Why both are combined? <coughs> that means both are different. That's why both are yes, combined. Yes, yes, yes. What is the difference between being in solitude and being alone? Being alone uh, indicates that you are not with anybody else you're, and you are by yourself. Solitude could also be a, a single focused thought or absence of no, no, no. Here, solitude is very clear. Sir, sorry. What to do is mentioned. What to do is mentioned. That is focus on the consciousness. On the supreme, supreme self. You know, supreme self and all is stupid word. Forget about that. Okay? That also you have to be very careful. All this <laughs> contains some, uh, sorry, some bullshits also in between. Okay? In this whole paragraph, the concept of Supreme Self is uh, 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 bullshit. Mm -hmm. Misleading people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay. So, remain in solitude and alone. What is the difference? What are, That means what all things you have to take care of. Come on. Sir, solitude is an internal state and mm -hmm. alone is... Uh, Physical area. Physical, physical, physical Yes. Physical yeah. Exactly. But solitude is your state of being. Mm -hmm. okay. A lot of people can be in solitude in group also. Mm -hmm. In fact, in most of the houses, the husband is in solitude, the wife is in solitude, the children are in solitude. <laughs> but, they are, they are, but they are not alone there. I just jogged. I mean, they, most of the time mm -hmm. they slip into solitude. And they often complained also, not using the word solitude. But you should be alone. 
I told mm-hmm. you the energy field of the other person may or may not be suitable to you. We don't know. We cannot know that normally. Yeah. And already self-controlled, already uh, f- the other thing, you know, detached from the senses. Yes. So that's all. Here, the significant point is that when you want to really try test yourself in this domain, the, what to do is, whatever that is, <coughs> you understand this consciousness, try to understand it, try to differentiate it. <coughs> from the ongoing thoughts and all that. Consciousness is that which is conscious about whatever the contents. So getting yes. out of contents and that uh, so-called that which is registering all those thoughts. These are, for example, I am telling you some ideas. So the task is given. Identify what is consciousness. Very clear. Yeah. But whenever you do that, if you want any result, you should have been already comfortable with solitude. You should have been already controlled in yourself. That is not a victim of the senses and things like that. Or aware of your role position and things like that and free from the senses. That's all. These are all in-between guidelines for the yogin. They are not uh, very relevant for Arjuna at that point of time. At all. So, that's a, a very interesting thing. That is the evidence, one more extra evidence that uh, somebody else, a mystic, has written this using Krishna and Arjuna's characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because that writer, uh, whether uh, what you call Vyasa or whoever, that mm-hmm. mystic, he wanted to combine some general guidelines for people to achieve that level which Krishna is suggesting to Arjuna. This, this verse is not at all relevant for Arjuna at that point of time. But this is an idea which Yasa is giving to people. Uh, it's relevant for us, yeah. not for Arjuna. Yeah. So take all this... Uh, uh, seeds and uh, saplings, it is automatically growing inside you. And once you're, uh, 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 depending upon the kind of uh, seed you have, mm-hmm. which is identical, the seed you have is identical only in one aspect. What is that? The possibility or the potentiality? How can you say that will be different from one individual to other person? The ideas are planted. Huh? The ideas you have planted in us. Oh, you have completely violated the question. What was the question? What was the question? What is the seed in your context? Yeah. Whatever is according to the seed, you. Uh, so I then I said, by seed, all of you are identical. Competencies wise, so intellectual wise, there may be a great lot of difference. But by the seed, at the seed level of the entity, all of you are one. What is that? Human. Mm, that is mm-hmm. not a correct answer. Nature process. No, no, no. The seed potentiality. <clears throat> All seeds can grow. Uh, that, of course. All seeds can grow and grow and grow and ultimately they will reach. Actualization, self actualization. Exactly. That's what every one of you is the yeah. same. Aham Brahmasmi is the same. Uh-huh. That root invariant is the same in all of you. Mm, yes. The trees may be different. Nurture the trees. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, that's a critical <coughs> statement. When you reach that invariant, you will know that that invariant is identical not only among so called humans, but in the cats and the rats and the birds also. 
okay so thank you sir sensitivity part also is over mm -hmm. i mean tentatively over all these are saplings only whatsoever i have been giving <laughs> there are saplings so nurture it and uh, be that yes the master i have a question yeah in slide 6 did you take away did you remove the sun did you remove the the sun in the imagery of slide 6 it says stand on your own and sun is the support and that has been taken away did you take it out is what i'm asking from my slide yeah no, did you here, uh, this this particular slide right Yes, that's let the only slide without yeah, the sun. Yeah, let a man himself, right? Yeah, that's and a good they point. Have, uh, you have noticed the sun. <laughs> because there is no need of sun. Sun, let it be. Let Support. it all be there or not there. Primarily, you have to do what you have to do. Let the sun is there, the water is there. If the seed is not growing by its incapacity, then <laughs> yes. But I appreciate that you noticed it. Mm -hmm. So right. and there are so many other things also, but that is not an important thing whether you noticed everything or not. But mm -hmm. uh, I have to get a feel of how linkages are to be explained for this level of ideas, especially Bhagavad Gita. And uh, any one of you can start a session on Bhagavad Gita. I am telling you, audience is guaranteed in India and yeah. abroad also, anywhere. Mm -hmm. We just put a board every Sunday uh, afternoon, uh, discussion sessions on uh, uh, Gita. <laughs> but if you say that about Upanishad and the Patanjali and all that, nobody will be coming. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then if you get then those who are eligible, those who are competent, you can take them to Upanishads also. We will be having uh, in the next uh, um, next uh, session. I will be taking some significant course from some of the Upanishads. Or mm -hmm. the same thing only. Uh, so sometimes I may take one or two, three. Then one or two, three items from Padanjali also. Yes. So that uh, I will be inducting you into Upanishads and uh, what you call uh, Padanjali. Padanjali, of course, it will not be required at all. But uh, for our exercise level, for familiarity level, uh, so that you will buy a copy of it subsequently and read it. Therefore, mm -hmm. no purpose, because nobody will be an audience for understanding Padanjali. But mm -hmm. uh, you will, your tree will be completely grown, because that is the responsibility of the seed. No. Whether anybody comes and appreciates it or not, like the tree, that is what the essence of tree meditation. Mm -hmm. Buddha and the tree became one, which, are, which is actually one, I mean, by the invariant level. And, uh, trees are growing here, for what? Humans are very concerned about the what, why and how. And they are trying to explain with all the sciences. They don't ask the simple questions, why these trees are here? Why this water is here? They are trying to analyze the chemical capacity of water. <laughs> okay. So, be a complete tree. Like I, you will never see an incomplete tree. A tree says that I will grow only this much. I am. I cannot do this. Uh, I, I, I am incapable. I have doubt. I am lazy. I forget. I am this. I am that. And coming and explaining and escaping from situations. Tree tries its best. <coughs> Every item. Just imagine. I always tell this to students. It is a ridiculous surprise. Every other item in the whole planet Earth. See billions and billions and billions of blades of grass alone. Every little plant, big plant, medium plant, every tree, everything else is evolving into its completeness, except to this unfortunate, stupid human beings. And they will all know that at that last gate when their consciousness is disappearing from their so-called body, they will have a bloody shock. 
And with that shock, carrying that shock, they will all uh, say bye-bye to the world. What a tragic end, I don't know. They think that it's a very momentary thing and it will be gone. <coughs> anyway, forget about all the things. Just uh, let the let a tree be your guru. Yes. Let any plant be your guru. I mean the role model. Every leaf is complete. Every tree tries it. It comes to its blooming, whether it is in the garden of a beggar or it is in the wilderness or anywhere. That's all. That is the core. That is the invariant of existence. That is the ultimate responsibility of the tree, having born into this world. And then uh, there's a proverb in Malala, Nanacharangi, Kulichigar, keeping some. By the way, Navin, I mean, it means, you know, you are a little mm. bit wet. Anyway, you are, you are wet. Then enter uh -huh. the flowing river, fully, fully wet. <laughs> that is roughly the translation. Shereki <laughs> Kuliki. Okay. Eda Island, Nanacharangi. Anyway, you are into this existence and you are forced to do some things. Then, bloody show it in its ultimate speed and uh, power and capacity, just like that. And uh, once you are into that track, uh, there is nothing, let me tell you, as enjoyable as that also. Yeah. Regardless of the turbulence of the seas, you will enjoy the driving. And enjoy it. And life is definitely wonderful and beautiful, no doubt about that. Regardless of the turbulence, I said, regardless of the tempest and the rain and the snowfall and the uh, strong mm -hmm. summer and the winter and the autumn and all that, the tree is surveying to its beauty again. Good luck to be trees and uh, meditate on the tree. Once in a while. Okay, Anuratha Ganesh. Okay, Tindu. Okay. Sorry, Tintin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Navin, okay, Sudhi. Okay, Minashi. Okay, Vinay. Okay, Ramesh. Okay, Mandra Rishiga. Okay, Ame Rajarshi. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you sir. Good night. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.